stars of stage and screen for over 40 years now and become two of the country's favourite actors. Today, Michael Crawford and Penelope Keith have been honoured by the Queen. You know how the lid always jammed when you put your foot on the pedal? Yes. <laughs> Michael Crawford is one of Britain's most versatile performers. I haven't got no change! The son he's best known for his role as the hapless Frank Spencer in Some Mothers Do Have Them. While to millions more, he is the Phantom of the Opera, playing the title role in the world-famous musical more than 1,300 times. He's been awarded a CBE for services to arts and charity. Come on, Mama, get your hat on. <coughs> this is the Daily Mirror. Penelope Keith has already won a top stage award when she landed the role of Margot Ledbetter in The Good Life. Why don't you go up to the manor and do some bird watching? If one classic sitcom weren't enough, she then went on to play Audrey Forbes Hamilton into the Manorborn. Today, she became a Dame Commander. I went to speak to both Penelope and Michael after the ceremony in Windsor Castle. Well, Michael, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for talking to Channel 5 News. And congratulations on your CBE today. Yes, thank you very may, much. May we have a look? There. Yeah, well, it's, very, it's very beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that a beautiful colour, too? Will you be wearing it? I, d I don't think I'll be wearing it. It's a little ostentatious but, uh, and, and immodest. I think I, I, I'll keep it close to me on, in my office. What did Her Majesty say to you? Um, we talked about... I was, I'd been working with the, the Duke of York uh, a few years back uh, with the NSPCC and, um, and uh, d d how, much, how much she said it had raised an enormous amount of, uh, uh, of money on that occasion. And I said to her, well, I think he's doing very well himself now. Now he's producing films. I think I may apply for a job. <laughs> she said, really? <laughs> I think she... So I may, I may drop him a line. <laughs> I think that sounds like a good idea. And we've also seen, Michael, a lot of great old classical comedies coming back, such like Open or Hours and Birds of a Feather. Yes. What about Some Mothers Do Have Them? I don't and think And Frank so. Spencer. Would you, ever, would you like to see that be relived or given a new life one I, day? I, think, I don't think people will be patient with him, uh, I mean, it's virtually 40 years on, and if he was still as silly as he was then, I think there's a problem. <laughs> it would be a medical problem. So I, What's I, he up to now, do you think? Oh, I have no idea. He's, well, he, he may be in a, driving them mad in some person's home, I would think, <laughs> but he's, it, was, it was a dear, it was a great part of my life, and, and I'm uh, uh, very affectionate, and still, Great friends and in touch with Michelle de Tries, who played, played my wife Betty, my long suffering wife. My long suffering <laughs> wife, yes. We're still really great friends, so that's nice. Penelope, thank you very much for talking to Channel 5 News. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I should call you now Dame Penelope. Yes, has, a, has a great <laughs> ring to it, doesn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. Do you think you'll be changing your checkbook? Oh, yes, I'm sure I will. Oh, yes, yes. I, if, if one's awarded such an honour, one must use it, I feel. <laughs> um, and it's certainly about time, too. You, you've had a fantastic career and you've met the Queen on numerous occasions. Um, what did she say to you today? Well, we were talking about one of the things that pleases me enormously is it's not only for my work, it's for the charities with which I'm associated, one of which is the National Memorial Arboretum, which is a wonderful place in Staffordshire, which commemorates all the service people who have died since the Second World War and I was there when it well first started when it was a bit of a bog and the trees were this big and now they're this big and so we were talking about that. Penelope you've had a fantastic career on the stage and also on our TV screens we love you from the good life and to the manor born. <laughs> um, is the Queen a fan of Margot Lebb better? I bet she is. I don't know I wouldn't ask. Would you welcome a, a revival of the good life? Well we did a uh, 25th anniversary one but as I always say it's difficult for to the manor born because there's only about three of us who are still alive so, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good conversation stopper isn't it would you welcome a return to something I like think that? it's awfully difficult to go back I really do and the atmosphere has changed the way programs are made has changed I think it's very difficult I think I liked the fact to leave it in people's memories as being a marvellous series Lots of fantastic new talent coming up. Do you keep your eye on new young comedy or do you think the best comedy was made back in the 80s and the 90s? I don't know. It seems to stand the test of time. That's the extraordinary thing, you know, because I always say with plays, you've done them. It's a programme or a poster you've got. Films always date. 
But the television comedy seems to last and seems to, you know, grow better with age. I mean, I'm a great fan of Dad's Army, which is extraordinary, you know. Um, and I have to say, Penelope, we, the weather's beautiful today. It's been pretty yeah. rotten, hasn't it, this winter yeah. so far? And I understand you've also been flooded over the Christmas period. What I happened? Wasn't, I wasn't flooded, no. No, happily not. With older houses, they didn't build on floodplains. So, um, but we lost electricity. Yes. So you had sardines on toast for Christmas sardines Day. Sardines on toast for Christmas Day. <laughs> it's sort of interesting, really. I bet it was tasty. Dame Penelope Keith and Michael Crawford, CB, talking to me earlier on today at Windsor Castle. Well, that is it.